clutch kick again. Bloop. And uh, probably doing a live stream. Dang, that clutch kick with a huge angle though. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on the Torque Trick Beta. There was a big update that just released with a lot of new features here. So we are here today to take a look at some of the updates that Torque Drift and people from Grease Monkey Games have done to this game. So a lot of the update in this, just to name a few, other than the fact that they reset all of our uh, accounts, was they made a slew of driving characteristics and driving aspect updates such as you know ability to change and adjust stuff so we're just going to go through it a little bit here so one of the bigger one of the changes i wouldn't say the bigger change but one of the changes they made was they have changed the fact that you can now move and set your controls wherever you want them to you can move them put them however you want so they've changed the aspect of that so you can now Adjust your controls and put them wherever you want. Looks like we got a red dam or cat sitting here at a uh, hot cone. But so you we have that ability now. So that is one pretty interesting, cool thing. Now the a uh, few other things that we uh, now have is we do have manual gearbox. We do have the ability to change our gears now just by swiping up and down on the screen, which is making the game a lot more interesting because now you can downshift through certain turns and upshift and keep speeds up as well. So the manual gears is definitely a very big thing that a lot of people wanted, and uh, they brought it to the game. So they also did a clutch kick. A lot of people were asking for the ability to clutch kick, so they did do a work in progress on the clutch kick. But if you double tap the accelerator, it will do a clutch kick. We'll, you know, I'll get in there and show and all that too. But they have one of the other things that they have changed is. Rankings now are based by car. As you can see, my S14 is ranked 20. My uh, S15, which I got, is ranked 0. And then my E40, E36, E36, E30 that I've been driving is ranked 118. So the ranks are by cars now. So it's not just your normal ranking up top. It's by car. So you can't be, you know, high rank with, you know, every single car. It's based by car unless you drive the cars a lot. So another thing, big thing they changed, I think is very interesting, is uh, they changed the parts store where you have to be certain ranks in cars to get parts, which kind of makes uh, a bit of a, a bit of a difference. It makes you have to play the game in order to get parts. You can't just like bit a full blown out car from the get go. You gotta actually drive the car, get the car ranking up to get parts. So it makes the game uh, replayability and playability a lot more. So. I do have a clutch, a high-end clutch in this car. That is because I did get it from the crates. They do have crates now that will give you parts and stuff. And if you also noticed about this, there's part, different parts will be in the garage at different times. So that makes it a little bit different. So you always got to be checking back at the store where there might be other parts there. Some parts will show up sometimes. Some parts will show up other times. So that's kind of a cool feature. It's almost like an actual part store. So... Along with that and the manual gearing and all that stuff, they added some other features into the game, such as, you know, warning lights for your engine and max torque when you're experiencing, like, clutch slips. So you can't have just, like, throw so much power into the car and not have a good clutch because you're not going to be able to, you know, put the power to the ground. Um, the crates, like I said, have more parts than just tires. More parts have been added. Um... Part stats are now in a more commonly used unit, so the stats are like, you know, degrees of camber, more common, basic use. Uh, entry fees have been dropped as well. Penalty, di penalty timer and collisions increased by 3 seconds and 5 seconds. So smashing into cars, you now get penalties and stuff from what I'm understanding. So they did change a lot in this game, so we're going to get into looking in a little bit of this. We're going to take my E30 out. They did fix the um, paint shop, so you can't put your decals and stuff on the cars now. Um, the one thing I'm not understanding, and I haven't re is there's no money values on certain on these races now. I don't understand why. Entry is free, but there's no money value to win. So you don't get points to win. But the, another thing, as you can see right up there, Evil Rabbit 07, they did give the ability now to 
change your profile and put a name on your profile and your display name. So now instead of everybody being like beta tester gold, beta tester this, beta tester this, um, there is names to people now. So that'll make it easier if you have some people, uh, friends at play as well, and it's like, oh man, I think I faced your car, I'm not sure. Well now, you know, they have names above them. So that allows people to be able to see, you know, who they're going against. I do have some tires, but I'm gonna keep stock tires because it's not a, not a high powered car. So we're gonna go into search, we're gonna show a little bit of the, uh, driving because the characters have changed a little bit the cars uh, handle a little bit they're a little bit looser and if you go too far of angle you can't really uh pull it out all the time so this guy did amateur uh yeah so there's some things that need to be worked on but a lot of people oh my controls moved all the way to the side of the screen oh boy so we're gonna have to go back and switch that back up but now i'm swiping up on my screen switching my gears going into manual gear e-braking in trying to hold my line the reason I'm doing this is I want to show you something else they added for tandem. So they added something for the chase drivers. So before, see like that, it started over rotate because I wasn't controlling it right away. So if you remember before uh, when you were in chase, you were just getting the basic standard points. Well, they've changed it now to where you can actually get multipliers as a chase driver to increase your chase points. Um, those are simply by being close to a car and within a circle radius of the driver. Uh, they have a circle radius that shows up. Yeah, he's definitely because I have it rotated. But they have a circle radius that shows up. We have to change these controls. A circle radius that shows up if you get too far away. So if you're within a circle radius, let's see if I can actually get some points. Like I was very. See, there's that circle radius. So. If you get cl if you stay sideways with them, uh, I'm crashing because my controls are all out of whack. I'm gonna have to fix that. So we're gonna reset the game real quick and get back to it. So we're gonna look for our second another guy here at Cali Banks. Like I said, they have added that multiplier for chase drivers. So the ability to get multipliers on your chase runs allows the chase run to be just as important as the lead run. Because before you had to have a really good lead run in order to get a good, to have, to be able to win. But now they have the multipliers in there for chasing. So if you can do a very solid chase and a very good lead, you can get many points stacked up in a lead and chase battle. So it is kind of cool that they added those um, ch uh, multipliers in chase positions. So we're trying to load in and it looks like we got a very high... S14 to go against Cam is the name. So the name things is pretty sweet. So it is awesome to see names now. Like I said, we are just swiping up on our screen to shift ourselves into gear. So we can also change gear any point during a slide. I missed that first thing, but we're trying to get a decent run, but it's not gonna do it that way. So they have changed the drifting characteristics of the game as well. So the cars feel, uh, I guess, a little a little more real because uh, you can't just throw massive angle and come out of it or, you know, throw a really bad angle and get it. So I know there's a couple people saying that they didn't like the way it was, they wanted back to how it was, but I know, you know, they're just trying to make this, you know, as best they can. That guy has 79,000 point run. Oof. So I'm going to see if I can't keep close to him and show you guys this multiplier because uh, I'm not having a little uh, trouble getting used to it but there's that radius circle that I was talking about so if you start drifting and you are close within the radius circle see I'm starting to get a multiplier while being sideways so it is a uh, kind of a cool thing and he threw way out of angle and that just totally screwed me up so there's a lot of uh, people that are doing runs that are very uh, very out of there and really hard to follow and you end up losing a lot so I am getting multiple outside of the radius so apparently as the longer you stay sideways oh I cut the track ha <laughs> get wrecked I'm gonna get this qualified so we'll try it again but so as you can see like you can get multipliers now on the chase so this is more of an update video for you guys not like a me still I'm still trying to get used to the uh, characteristics of the game now because they did change the characteristics a little bit so like I said, it cards are by rank now. So like if you lose on this, it's not losing your full thing. It's by the rank of the car. 
So if you have a car that's like really, really good at driving and you keep that hot one really high and you go one that's not like, cause see the other car is 20 and zero. And I believe this car is probably 89 still. Cause I did lose some points on there. So we're gonna see if we can't find somebody else on this and try and get another tandem. So like I said, they did bring a lot of updates to the game and uh, definitely excited for the updates that they have made with the uh, manual transmission and you know the speedometer and everything working and the ability to have names up is um, a big thing for me because like I started doing live streaming and I was people were like oh I think that's me and I'm like it might be I don't know <laughs> I mean everybody could have the same style car but now we have the ability to change our profile names and put our names up there I don't think we're going to find anybody so we'll probably go to the other track race the yard reversed so it is kind of cool that they have that and all these updates here so if you guys like keep seeing these torque drift updates i will bring you all the updates when i get them as soon as i get them so you guys know you can follow me on facebook twitch twitter and instagram all found in the description box below so this being having names on there now will make it a lot easier if i am doing a live stream and getting you know some tandems and stuff like that where i'll be able to see it, if it is some of you guys some of the subscribers that are actually you know tandeming with me in this game and this is a new course it is it is the uh, yard course but we've never run it in this reverse a full yard lap in reverse so this is actually a bit of a new I guess you'd say a new course that they've uh, put in for tandems shift back up to third so because this was not a track that was on there before the track was but the, they never had this set this way for tandems so it is kind of a new new thing we're not gonna be able to hold that should have downshifted the second i keep forgetting that i have manual gears but so manual gears is definitely a very good thing as you can see i could have used that a few times in the course of this track so it is kind of cool that we get almost a, we get a full lap here at the yard. Try to jump that. There we go. Not a bad run. Could have been a lot better, but we're gonna see how our the other individual's lead run was. Not too much higher than us, so maybe we can tag a better chase and actually get the win. Like I said, with those chase multipliers on here now, it actually makes it a a little bit easier now. Um, Jose, is he gonna go? That's actually gonna screw up my chase here. Because I'm far back now. Trying to get into his angle without crashing too bad. Hopefully we can uh, not over rotate like that and not hit that wall. Oof. So downshifting is really nice. So like I said, they do have a clutch kick feature, which I will show you guys here in a minute once I finish this tandem and I go into like a practice session because I have not figured out exactly, you know, the physics of the clutch kick. So they've also gotten rid of, if you notice, he did ghost through me and it didn't truck me sideways. They removed the uh, kind of the exploding of cars when a uh, lead car ghosts through you, which was another part of the update. So when people would slide through you when you're waiting for lead and you would just explode and like go zero to 100 upside down or do some barrel rolls and stuff you know there was that so they did get rid of that so that's definitely kind of a good thing that them get rid of it looks like they've kind of worked more on the frame rate and stuff now because i'm not having any issues well up there I'm getting some air off that well up there in the frame rate so i'm not having any glitching issues i am on my iphone 10 so looks like they did fix that feature as well we are probably going to definitely take that win because of the lot of the waiting chase and waiting on lead so like i said there's no winning bonuses and i don't know why i don't know if that's maybe just a glitch or a bug um definitely going to be submitting that to them so they can uh get the idea of hey you know maybe maybe that's how they had it set up so it didn't cost as much. So the clutch kick, before we end this episode off, I did talk about that there is now a clutch kick. So we're gonna go to practice, we're gonna to Kylie Banks. 
So the clutch kick feature is basically they said all you do is double clutch the gas or double tap the gas. So we're gonna get up the speed, get in the second gear, get in the third gear. We're gonna start sliding. I'm gonna get off and get back on real quick. So double clutch. See, it just instantly kicks out. So they do have this clutch kick now. So when you would use a clutch kick, um, normally you would use a clutch kick to keep yourself at angle when you're sliding. But see, it just kicks it so quick in angle. So you definitely need to be, apparently we need to get that OMG sponsorship. I forgot all my sponsorships are gone. So you need to be like fully counter steered when you hit that, when you hit that clutch kick. Or you can maybe use it for this, double clutch in. You can do clutch kick entries now, which actually that worked out pretty well. Um, you can use the clutch kick to transition, clutch kick the other way. So the clutch kick feature is very nice. Um, definitely going to take a lot of getting used to. Um, so instead of doing like knee break entry, I can just clutch kick it in, hold that angle, a little clutch kick there to you know, try to keep angle, but it didn't do it. So we're going to try it here. We're going to slow down, clutch kick it. There we go, nice clutch kick, keep speed. So you can do clutch kick entries and stuff now, which is very nice. So that's a feature that I feel a lot of people are gonna be doing. So just a quick update video, guys, for this. I will be doing some more videos here on the Torch Trip. I'm gonna clutch kick it in, boop. And uh, probably doing a live stream. Dang, that clutch kick with a huge angle though. So until next time, guys, you know you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, three wheel and clutch kick. <laughs> And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.